Kev, as we approach the break, it was the Yankees and the Dodgers as co-favorites at a 4-1 to one number. Now it's the Yankees by themselves, the solo favorites, entering the second half of the Major League Baseball season at plus 300, with the Dodgers only 50 cents behind, plus 350, and the Strohs round out the top three at plus 450. Are you comfortable with how all those prices lay out? Do you think where the odds stack up is a pretty fair assessment of Major League Baseball this time? So I think the top five is accurate. I think that's exactly who the top five should be. Should Toronto be sixth? No. They, they've not earned that. But what we do know is, of course, the deadline can always shake things up. The one thing that I'm trying to get a read on right now is Juan Soto is dominating the Major League Baseball conversation. Is how many teams could become the favorite upon acquiring Soto? Yankees are the favorite. If they bring him in, they stay. If the Dodgers had Soto, they jumped the Yankees. The Astros don't seem to be in the conversation, but if they did, I think they jumped both the Yankees and the Dodgers. Do the Mets and the Braves, even if they are reportedly unlikely to legitimately be in the mix because they are in the same division as the Nationals, would adding Juan Soto make them all the way up the board to World Series favorites? I can't definitively tell you no. I can't definitively tell you yes. But it is one of the things that I think makes the Soto conversation so interesting. 